Yeah man, what's going on? I go by the name of Max Star M X S T A. We're locked into BRMG Media right now. Let's get it. Yeah, no tips when I swear around London. Young Max might get clocked by the junction. Like, I've done a couple interviews today, yeah, and I've heard so many remixes. Like, someone said you got gas. You just said I'm gas. And someone just said gas. So yeah, but um, obviously it's all good anyway. Um, the reason why um we put that out first is just like. Obviously, we're gonna shoot videos to like every everyone on the tape, kind of thing. So it's more just like have this. It's just a bubble, or it's just like you get me a little bit of energy and stuff. It's not too. You don't really have to think too much to listen to that tune, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a easy to listen to, easy to kind of deal with grand tune. Big shoes and young Mac and like and scratch. Yeah. New school dons, but we gotta bring it back. Obviously, I did the tape off my own, like on my own accord, kind of thing, just like driving to studio getting it done and like, it literally took me like a month to do and in the month like every day I was just going to studio or writing tunes in my house just trying to get in anywhere I could to make it happen but then it was like I could have put it out in December like at that time but then there's so many in terms of like the process that a release needs when it's like going out there's so many boxes that I wouldn't have ticked if I had just like dashed it out you know what I'm saying I still could have shot videos and did a but in terms of a campaign, I just wanted a little campaign. Like, yeah. I was a hot stepping in my Nike sneaker. Yeah. You didn't know I was an MCB since the clash. Some people have said I lost. Some people said I won. And to me, like, I just think, like, it's it's sport. It is what it is. So I'll never get upset. I think I won because I think I got better lyrics and blah blah blah. But I could never be upset if people say that he won either because. You get me, it was just a clash, we did it. It was nuts being like in the situation, in the dungeon and stuff, yeah, because to be honest, if you know about Graham and stuff like that, you'll know that Marcus Nasty is like one of the biggest bullies of the Graham team. Like, from the stories I've heard, yeah, he has pissed on certain people, some of your favorite MCs, he's done bare, like, you know what I'm saying, he's violated these guys, you know what I'm saying, and he was in my clash sitting there behind man on some, and I'm there spitting bars about his mum and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it was just tense, like it was weird, like it was a nuts atmosphere, but like I said, I wouldn't really change anything about it, it was cool. I've watched it like once, but I'm like that, sometimes I don't even watch my own music videos because once it's done, it's done. And once I've seen it, I know what it is, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it was definitely the most tense clash, like you see. Like, check the Shiz and Blizzard clash here. Yeah? That's two good youths, you get me? Like, so there was never gonna be no, like, beef because they're, they're two good youths, you know what I'm saying? So, but obviously mine was a bit different. I'm playing this game for one cash. Two years since my brother died, and he was like 14 when he died. I was, I was like 29 slash 19 or something. Like, probably 20 though. And um, obviously, it's like now nah, he would have been. In August coming up, that would have been his 16th birthday, yeah? But like, my little brother was like a mad, like, a mad kid, so he was already planning his 16th birthday them times, you know what I'm saying? So, like, for the family and stuff, like, it's mad to think, oh, like, it won't, like, it won't happen or da da da, but I'm a man, like, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like I'll, the reason I'm still here is because, like, I am me and my brother, like, in, I'm like two people in one, you get me? So, I have to live, like, extra like because I'm two people in one and sometimes it's magic because you know like when someone that's close to you dies and that you might even sometimes you wish like you could just see them in your dream or just some mad sad shit like that yeah but it's crazy my brother dying like even made me think sometimes I think what like is there a god like do I actually believe in god do I care like do I do I care about anything in the world if if life is that fucked and get me Carl. Sometimes it's like why are we here? Like you're put here on earth to go through their stress. Every, but, but the maddest thing is think about it. Yeah? One day my pet like I could say God forbid or da 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 but it's obviously gonna happen as a natural order of things. One day my parents are gonna die and then I'm gonna have to deal with that. And then I'm gonna have kids and then in the end I'm gonna die and they have to deal with that. So it's like grief is a part of life, like we're here on earth to experience grief. So yeah man, I'm good, I'm jiggy, I'm definitely just like trying to make my brother proud and stuff, you know?
Max 8 1.5 